Hey everybody, it's Stephanie and it is finally time for my purples video. So um, I was really excited to make this video. I was supposed to do it about a week ago, two weeks ago, but my life got flipped, turned upside down. So finally <laughs> we are doing this video and it was a really interesting one to uh, curate and to swatch for because most of my other videos, like at least half of the stuff that I show off or the majority of the stuff that I would show off would already have like somewhat recent swatches or any swatches at all that I felt like were worth sharing. But so many of these purples are like so old to my collection. I don't buy a lot of purples anymore. I'm not really sure why that is. Uh, so a lot of these were ones that I bought in the beginning of polish collecting. One of them's actually a polish that I bought like well before I ever got into nail polish seriously. And a lot of them didn't really have good swatches. So last night I had to just like sit and swatch like 10 polishes, I think. Uh, some of them actually didn't make it into this video, but I'm very excited to share with you what did. So let's get started. All right, first off, we're starting with the polish from this whole group that I actually had before I ever got into nail polish collecting, before I ever watched Simply Nail Logical, uh, before any of that happened. And that is OPI Ink. So OPI Ink, like I said, I had it before I started collecting. I did have like a bin of nail polish and I had cleared it out like a bunch of the nail polishes in there because I only wanted the ones that I thought I really would wear. I regret that. Absolutely. But it's this beautiful purple shimmer and it actually is almost like a duochrome with pink. I was actually pretty surprised when I went to swatch this that it was so beautiful because first off it's an OPI and I know that OPI has plenty of beautiful shades. There's so many beautiful things you can do with even mainstream polish, uh, but still I was a bit surprised. I shouldn't have been surprised though because I swear to God, like two or three times I've been at TJ Maxx and seen this on the shelf and almost bought it again. But luckily I remembered the name of it and I didn't buy it again. But yeah, it's just this beautiful shimmery purple. Like I said, it kind of like flips over to pink and I'm just kind of tickled that it survived all this time and that seemingly you can still get it. So this is OPI Ink. All right, next up is a polish that is literally only on this list because of the name. This is a polish that, except for the name, which is probably my favorite name in my entire collection for a polish, uh, I probably wouldn't have bought it. And every time I wear it, I'm like, ugh. I don't really like this very much, but I do wear it every single year and I wear it on my birthday because this one is called Stephanie is a Weirdo by Arda's Nails. Now, this is the only Arda's Nails that I own. If you ever watch my Polish Pickup Bingo with Danny Shout, um, the next one's on the 31st, I believe. It's the last Sunday before April. We're going to go through Polish Pickup, build our wish list and play bingo with the audience. There's prizes. Anyway, enough shameless plugging of that. Um, every time I see Arda's Nails, I always just think of like Sally Hansen Arda's Nails, and this is a British company, and so I just feel like they're cockney, and they're like, Arda's Nails, gov, and uh, that's kind of just become what we say every time we see Arda's Nails. So what this polish is, is basically a purple cream, and then it has a smattering of holographic micro glitter, and then it has a blue shimmer, and because this is based in a cream... Ugh, nothing really shows off the way that I want it to. And it's very chunky to apply. Like it looks okay with top coat on, but I don't really understand the vibe they were going for with this. I mean, I guess a weird vibe, which this is Stephanie is a weirdo. So that makes sense. But yeah, when I was first like getting into the hobby, I was buying from Zoya and I was looking for my namesake polish and I found out it was Steph by Zoya. And it was a nude that's actually my exact flesh tones. That'll probably be in my light flesh tone video because I'm going to be doing light and dark nudes. That's how I'm going to be separating those colors. But anyway, um, I was looking for that and I was very disappointed in what they had. Um, so my sister started searching around for nail polishes with my name in them and she found this one. And I just think it's great because I think, A, it's so appropriate. Like, I do feel like I'm quite a weirdo, so that's great. I like to top this on my birthday with Loud Lacquer Steffi, which is a multi-tonal pink topper. Pink is my favorite color. And as you can tell from this room, like, obviously I do like purple 
purple, but I feel like purple is going to sound so silly. It's almost like a neutral for this room. Like this room, well, this room is purple because my roommate painted it that way, but like it did match a bunch of the stuff that I have. So like, I do like purple, but like pink's definitely my fave. Uh, so yeah, I wear this every single year on my birthday just because of the name, because I want to have the Steph polishes on me. So if y'all know of any other like Stephanie based polishes, I am super interested in hearing about those. But this is one of the three that I have. And this is Artist Nails. Stephanie is a weirdo. All right, next up is Isola by Cirque Colors. So Isola is a mid-tone purple crelly and it has these little gold flakies in it and there are a few other cert colors that kind of follow the same formula uh the one that i have other than this is i believe called a gian and it's like a green in the same line and it is just a super beautiful like understated yet interesting finish i just think it's so cute i think a gian's so cute and uh yeah i just love it not much to say about this one except for i i think the vibes they're immaculate. All right, up next is China Glaze Purple Tonium. So this was from, I believe, two or three Halloweens ago, their Halloween collection, and it's a really amazing collection. I don't remember what it was called, but I feel like it was like alien themed. There were just so many beautiful, like deep shimmers in that collection, and I have a few of them, but the one that really stands out is Purple Tonium for a few reasons. One reason, dang, this polish is so gorgeous. First off, it dries down to a matte finish, uh, which is really beautiful with a shimmer. I do like it better with a glossy top coat, but actually I used to think it was stupid when things dried down to a matte finish, but I honestly don't feel that way anymore. And the reason that my opinion has changed is because I feel like a lot of times when you cover a polish with a matte topper, it can really like diffuse the color underneath. I saw somebody swatching a polish on Instagram a while ago and they topped it with matte. And I swear it was just like a whole shade like lighter and more diffuse. And I really don't like that. And so what I like to do, and this is something that I've learned from my friend Sunburnt Galaxy, is I like to do like one or two coats of the color that has the matte finish or a specialty finish, depending on what you're going for. This works for both. And then I put on my quick dry top coat, let that dry for a little while. And then I go over the top with the matte polish. And I really like that because matte toppers themselves aren't protective. So if you're using them to have a protective coat over your mani, uh, you're gonna have a bad time. So you're gonna want to use quick dry top coat anyway. And so if you already have a mattified polish, might as well just go over it with the polish itself. So that way you're a little bit protected on the bottom and then you have that full punch of color on the top. But yeah, I swatched this for the first time in a long time last night and I was honestly just amazed by the depth of color. It flips from like an almost indigo blue to almost a pink if you like really look. And in certain lights, it's so sparkly that it almost looks holographic. So I highly recommend checking this one out. I just think it is so beautiful. This is, what is it? <laughs> this is China Glaze Purple Tonium. All right, coming up is another sentimental polish in my collection. This is Glisten and Glow Truly Outrageous. So this is such a fantastic polish. So Truly Outrageous is a beautiful, cool-toned purple jelly with pink matte hex glitters and pink metallic hex glitters. First off, I love me a metallic glitter. Like I am realizing I just really like metallic glitter. I like hollow and I, I like matte, but I really do like a metallic glitter sometimes. So I really love that about this polish. Um, of course, it's exactly like my color story. It's named after Gem and the Holograms, which I think is super, super fun. I actually did a Manny with this and I, I stamped Gem on it and I'm super, super proud of it. But also this is a very, near and dear polish to Jill from Glistening Glow's Heart. So this is actually a story that you can hear uh, on Danny and I's podcast. We did interview Jill from Glistening Glow 
And we asked her what her favorite polish she ever made was. And it was this one. And the reason is she loved Gem in the Holograms. She loved it so much that when she was in school, she asked her teacher to call her Gem. And her teacher very awesomely did. But then when she talked to, you know, Jill's parents, her parents were like, who's Gem? Uh, so very funny story. But also when she was releasing this for Polish Pickup, she was going to get some really major surgery. And she actually didn't know if she was going to make it out alive. Uh, so she decided she wanted to make the best polish she's ever made. So if she did, she would go out in a bang. So she made the polish. She made it a hard cap. She sent it out to polish pickup and she went and had surgery. And thank goodness everything went fine. She came out perfectly healthy and great. Thank goodness. We're so happy. Uh, but this polish was made. So I am so happy that she was inspired to make this polish. I'm so happy I was able to shop somebody's D stash to get it after she told me that story. Uh, just such an amazing story and such an amazing polish. This is Glisten and Glow Truly Outrageous. All right, we are sticking with the retro vibes because up next is something that reminds me so much of a jelly sandal, and that is Orly Like Totally. So Orly Like Totally is a beautiful mid-tone holographic jelly polish. It has a scattered hollow throughout, and they're kind of just like holographic micro glitters. And I just think this polish is so fun. I know probably a lot of you are seeing this and you're thinking, why this instead of Hollow Taco Antihero? Antihero is a little more cool toned, which personally I like a little bit more. Antihero is definitely a little more vibrant, a little more deep, a little more punchy, and it's Hollow Taco. But hear me out. This is my favorite. Anyway, I do think it kind of does have a little bit worse coverage than Hollow Taco Antihero. But the thing is, is that it just so perfectly encapsulates like the feel of a jelly sandal because jelly sandals, at least the ones that were around in the 90s, they weren't like extremely vibrant. They were always a bit pastel or like a bit faded. Of course, over time, they would get really faded and they get kind of yellowed and grungy. Somebody should make that polish. I can't guarantee I buy it, but it'd be really, really funny if somebody just made a polish like this that had that kind of color tone to it and called it old jelly sandal. That'd be amazing. But yeah, I just really like this one. Like I wasn't into this collection by Orly until one time on the podcast, Danny and I were like talking about this and how much it reminded us of jelly sandals. And then suddenly both of us really, really wanted it. But yeah, I'm wearing it actually right now. And it's actually performing better than I expected it to. But yeah, when I was thinking about this purples video, I could not get this polish out of my mind. So this is Orly, like totally. All right, coming up next is another one from an old favorite collection I have talked about before, and that is ILNP Hi-Fi. So this is another one of ILNP's ultra metallic brights, and oh my God, it is so gorgeous, just like every other color in that collection, except for stupidly the red. I wish the red was better in that collection. But yeah, this is a small particle metallic foil, which is probably my favorite finish in all of nail polishdom. And this polish is just so gorgeous. Like it actually looks a little bit like a multi-chrome depending on like where you're wearing it because it is so reflective that if you're wearing like white or pink or anything like that, it's just going to reflect off of this and just change the color ever so much. So I don't have that much to say about this one because I've already talked about how much I love the Ultra Metallic Brights collection in my blue video. But seriously, if you love purple, if you love metallics, you really should check out Hi-Fi by ILNP. All right, up next is another one from my favorite brand. This is Bubbly Bombshell by Orly. Now this is a beautiful, every one of these is beautiful. Every single time, every polish I picked up, I'm like, this is a beautiful, but it is. It's a beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, full coverage, warm purple glitter. I love this polish. It's one of the first polishes I bought when I got serious about nail polish. I was just kind of like buying things that Kelly Marissa was reviewing or that I just saw on the Orly website and thought, hmm, that looks good. And I got this one. This is so, so wonderful. I love it. It's almost like got a foil-like consistency, but these are definitely micro glitters, like evenly cut micro glitters. They're not flakies and they're not like flex. They are full on glitters, but they are extremely small. This looks so gorgeous. 
in full light and in low light. I've actually decided to take some pictures of some of these polishes in low light because I think it's really nice to show people what they look like in low light. So you probably have seen a few swatches already that said like low light at the bottom because I forgot to explain. I'm also taking pictures in low light. I didn't do it for this one, but I really wish I had because I was actually kind of wowed at how it looked in low light. I don't think that when I first wore this that I was really thinking about like low light versus full light, things like that. I probably just assumed full light was always the best. Honestly, the first polish that I got that really made me like believe in the power of a good low light polish was probably Trixie by Zoya. Spoiler alert, that will be <laughs> in my favorite like metallics video. But yeah, I just love a polish that looks wonderful in low light because I'm usually in low light and I want to enjoy my polish. But anyway, this is just such an amazing full coverage glitter. I love these full coverage micro glitters. I think that they're super, super fun. Anyway, this is Orly Bubbly Bombshell. All right, we're getting up to the top. We only have four more in my favorites, and then we're going to have one dishonorable mention, but we're, we're still on the favorites. So coming up next is Zombie Claw, all things pastel and scary. So this I bought from PPU, and I believe it was from one of their October's do something for Halloween kind of uh, themes, and I just thought it was so cute. So this is a very, very light purple Crelly, and then it has purple, what looks like either metallic or maybe glass flecks in it, and then it has tiny, tiny pink matte hex glitters and then little black flecks in it, and you know me, I am always a slut for little black flecks, and actually, okay, so I was watching Kelly Marissa's video where she's reviewing the Hollow Taco uh, ice cream, cookies and cream, whatever collection, and she said that people in her community don't like black flecks and nail polish. And like, I am so sorry, but cannot relate. Clearly, I need to get more involved in Kelly Marissa's community again so that we can like show these people who's boss and who's boss are little black flex because they just break up monotony so well. I've said this before. I'll say it a million times. Such a wonderful way to add like a little bit of visual noise. As soon as I get my birthday reward, I'm definitely buying that topper from Hollow Taco. So please don't let it sell out. But yeah, I love this polish. I'm featuring it with the nail art that I did for Freddie Loves Jason. Uh, this is, I love this Manny that I did. Me and my friend Nikki were talking about Freddie versus Jason. And we decided that the only reason they're fighting is that they were going through a breakup. And so uh, maybe we should get them back together. And uh, so I did Freddie Loves Jason nail art. But yeah, I love this one. And because of the name, I tend to like use it for like slightly more macabre stuff. But like, I think it can be used in so many different ways. It's just so beautiful. Lovely pastel. This is all things pastel and scary by Zombie Claw. All right, up next is something very new to my collection. I just got it last month from Polish Pickup. And that is Vanessa Molina Emperor Butterfly. Oh my God, this is such a gorgeous polish. Like I put it on and I could not stop staring at it. You've already seen these swatches if you watched my favorite staples video because this is one of the polishes that I used to like show off how the different staples worked around it. So like the top coat, matte top coats, things like that. It's just so gorgeous. It is just so dimensional. The only problem I have with this polish, and it's a problem I have with every Vanessa Molina that I have, is that the pictures that I took with it are all three coders. And to get to the level of depth that I feel like the swatchers had on PPU, I think you would need four coats. I know that there's one of the polishes that I have that looks nothing like the swatches they had on polish pickup, unless you do four coats or put like a color beneath it to kind of emphasize the base color. I'm not mad at this polish about it. I love the way it looked in three coats and I wouldn't really mind doing a fourth coat. I'm just weird like that, but yeah. Uh, I think it's just so amazing. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't get this one out of my head. So I had to put it as number three, which I think for a polish that just entered my collection, that is absolutely astounding. Like the last video I did, I wouldn't have been able to put this polish in. So yeah, this is Vanessa Molina Emperor Butterfly. All right, it's a top two. Uh, and I think that um, a lot of the people who are familiar with my nail polish collection who follow me on stream, um, they probably know what are in the top two. There are two purple polishes that have my heart just more than almost any other polishes ever. Um, and they're by my top two favorite brands of all time. So I'm so excited to share them with you. So let's start with the runner up. Obviously, this is Cert Colors Dream Within a Dream. Oh my God, this polish 
is the most just incredible visual. Like, I don't love magnetic polishes. I really don't. I am not that into magnetic polishes. I don't have the patience. And I usually don't find that the patience even pays off when it comes to lacquer. Absolutely does when it comes to gel. Don't get me wrong. Gel magnetics are astounding. Lacquer magnetics, honey, you need some work. But this magnetic from Cirque, and I'm pretty sure every other magnetic in this line, it is like nothing I had ever seen before. It's like nothing I've ever seen again. Even when I mess up the magnet, this looks absolutely incredible. The first time I wore this polish was on Thanksgiving of, I believe, 2021. Or no, 2020? Yeah. Was Thanksgiving of 2021. And I was picking up some salads from a restaurant that we always get salads from. And the person who had packed up our salads and was bringing them out to me was so stunned by this polish just in the flash she had seen when I was like grabbing the stuff she was handing me that she literally grabbed my hand and like took me around to show like all her other friends at the restaurant. And then they all stood around while I showed them Kelly Marissa swatching this. It was so fun and so funny. They were just amazed. And I was kind of amazed and kind of horrified because this was 2021 and I was still masking up, but I certainly wasn't going up to strangers and grabbing their hands. But at that point, I was vaxxed. So I was like, whatever, grab my hand, show everybody in this restaurant. Let's all have a moment here in this Clearman's Northwoods Inn on Thanksgiving. <laughs> anyway, I, I don't even know. How do I describe this polish? It is a very, very, very cool tone purple base, almost blue, definitely in that blurple territory. Um, and then it has this purple to green to, I think, gold shift in it. I just can't, it, it's, ugh, I, I can't, can't put into words just the visual of this on the nail. It is unreal. If you don't have any other magnetics, if you don't have any interest in magnetics, I still think you should get Dream Within a Dream. In fact, it is so good that it was limited edition. And then they just kept bringing specifically this one back. If you go on their website right now, I looked at it a little earlier today. This is just listed. And there's another one from this collection called Paradox, which I don't have, but I kind of feel like I should get. Also, something I love about this polish is that in the game Final Fantasy 14, there is a move called Dream Within a Dream and people abbreviate it down to DWOD. And my friend Kajin was talking about this polish and she called this one DWOD. And I just can't stop thinking about this as DWOD. So anyway, this is Cirque Colors DWOD. <laughs> Okay, up next is a polish that is definitely in my top two polishes. This is a color I love so much and know so well that I actually use it sometimes if I'm worried that like the temperature settings on my camera are off. I'll just like pick this up and I'll be like, okay, I'm just gonna adjust it until this color looks like this color because my eyes are so used to it. Anyway, this is Orly Synthetic Symphony. Like, what do I even say about Orly Synthetic Symphony? She's a cult classic. She is gorgeous. She is the world's most beautiful blurple. And she is neon. Like, what more can you ask for? I am so in love with this polish. This was part of the Orly Electric Escape collection. It is the first collection I ever bought. And I was so smitten. I only bought that collection because it was on sale for I think it was something like $19. It was crazy. And it was right before they started doing like the nice little like slide and sleeve boxes. It was like a plastic box. Also their ad campaign for this really got me. It was just very visually appealing. But yeah, I got that. I tried on Synthetic Symphony and I was absolutely blown away. Um, and so this is just one of my favorite polishes. And another person who loves this polish is my queen, Kelly Marissa. Kelly and I love this polish so much. In fact, in her Halloween advent calendar, she did kind of a take on this with a green shimmer and it was called Haunted Symphony. And I was so, so excited. And actually about two years ago, I did a birthday stream for Kelly Marissa and it was the highlight of my life, I have to say, because not only did we have a great time celebrating Kelly's birthday together, but Kelly Marissa actually joined us and I died a little inside. Um, she has always been so incredibly kind to me. Uh, I reached out to her when I started making content and, you know, asked her for some advice if she would answer some questions. And she was just so incredibly gracious. Kelly is just one of those amazing, kind people. 
And um, she is a precious cinnamon roll. <laughs> and I love her. Anyway, I love the Manny that I did for her birthday. Because what I did is I took this polish, which she was wearing on the same day. <laughs> she was like, oh my God, I'm wearing it right now. And I was like, yes. Um, so I took this polish. I topped it with Starly Callisto from her collaboration with Starly. And then I took one of her Kelly Marissa plates from MoU London. And instead of using anything on the plates, <laughs> I just stamped her name over and over over and over again. And I was so proud. I was such a weirdo that day. And Kelly seemed to be digging it. I also cosplayed as Kelly that day. I had so much fun. It, it like I said, highlight of my life, the stream that we spent with Kelly on my Twitch channel. But yeah, this color is so gorgeous. I love topping this with hollow tacos, flaky hollow taco. It looks so good. In fact, I literally could not find a single swatch that I hadn't topped with hollow taco, flaky hollow taco. Uh, so I had to do a new swatch with this one because I didn't have like a normal one. But yeah, like this is such an amazing polish, but unfortunately we have some bad news. This has apparently just quietly been discontinued by Orly. They didn't announce it. They didn't put it in its final call. They didn't do anything like that. They just like took it off of their website. So of course, like any other polish collector, I bought two more bottles from a stockist. But yeah, what the heck? I think that they have discontinued the entire Electric Escape collection. And Orly, if you do not release the entire Electric Escape collection again in a beautiful collector's box with like collaboration with Kelly Marissa or something like that, I will find you and I will cry in your face, okay? Like, I will find you, Jeff Pink, and I will go up to you and I'll be like, you don't know who I am, but I know who you are and you don't know what you took from me because, like, seriously, what the heck? Like, what? Like, <laughs> I... I I, I hope that someday we find out why this happened. I don't, I don't see why they would do this. Anyway, sorry to end this list on a downer, but like, yeah, find a stockist that has this and buy it before it's too late. I am begging you because like this, this polish is supreme. It is the supreme purple. Bow down before her. This is the queen of all purples. Okay. And as I said earlier, we have one dishonorable mention. <laughs> Uh, so this polish is a polish that I hate. I hate it on just about every single level that one can hate a polish. So this polish is OPI's I Sold My Crypto from last year's spring crypto collection. Oh my God, what a horrible polish. Look how incredibly sheer this is. It looks so bad. I don't understand why they made it. I don't like the color. I posted a picture of this on Instagram and I think some people enjoyed the color, but like legit cannot relate. Like love what you love, but ugh. it is just so gross and so sheer, but not in a good way. I love shears. Not for me. Um, but the reason that I got this was they released that crypto collection. And I think that crypto is... MLMs for bros. <laughs> Let's be clear. Let's be real here. It's a scam. It's stupid. I don't like it. They release NFTs with this, which are a scam and stupid, and I don't like them. And I was just like, OPI, the bar was so low. The bar was on the floor. And yet somehow you have dug down. <laughs> and and like, what, what were they thinking? And I gotta say, I, I don't really know how the NFTs worked for them or anything, but I don't think this sold very well because I found this the month after that collection came out at the Marshalls on Sunset Boulevard, like where the Walk of Fame is and like Man's Chinese Theater and stuff. I was there uh, with my friend Nikki who was having a vacation out here and... <laughs> We went to the Marshalls because I was just like, I got to see what's in the Marshalls on Sunset Boulevard. Like, I've never done that before. And what was there? OPI, I sold my crypto. There were a few different ones from this collection. But yeah, I had to say it was incredibly satisfying to see <laughs> this polish at that Marshalls because I was just like, there you go, OPI. There, there. Are you happy? Are you happy? Did this collection work well for you? And no, apparently it did not. So yeah, here is my one dishonorable mention. This will definitely go on my hall of shame shelf once I finally make one. I'm hoping to make a hall, H-A-U-L, of shame where I put all of my like crappy polishes, which by the way, I will make this a call to action. If you have a mentality polish and you would like to get rid of it, 
I will buy it off of you for a reasonable price <laughs> because uh, Mentality is a polish company that made polishes that made people's like nails peel off and stuff. Very gross, disgusting stuff. Um, but yeah, it, it was just a wild thing. And I would really like a bottle of it to put on my hall of shame. I will not wear it. I, I will like put a label on it on the bottom that says like, don't wear this just in case. I don't know. I die and people are going through my nail polishes just so they don't lose their nails. But yeah, um, I really want a mentality polish and any other polishes that anybody's like this one this one, this one, let me know because I would love to expand my hall of shame. Anyway, that is it for my favorite purples. I hope you had a really, really good time. I know that I did. I am really looking forward to my next video because it is going to be my favorite pinks and pink is my favorite color and I love it. And I don't even know where to start with my favorite pinks because my favorite pink is just so special that it's kind of like there's that polish and then there's everybody else. Uh, but yeah, I love pinks. So please join me for my favorite pinks video. I'm really looking forward to going through my pink polishes and just like remembering why I bought them, why I love them, why I have them. Because like so often when I go for a pink, I'm just like this one. This one again, they are probably going to also include my magenta polishes because like people are like, oh, it's magenta. And I'm like, well, to me, it's pink. <laughs> but like I said, thank you so much for joining me today. If you'd like to share some of your favorite purples or your opinions on my favorite purples, I would love to hear from you down in the comments. Also, I would love it if you give this video a like. And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, then subscribe, please. I beg of you, hit the subscribe button. You probably won't regret it, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but if you do it, I'll be happy. If this video wasn't enough for you, well, there's an entire playlist of all of my favorite colors videos. Also, I have a podcast with my friend and podcast partner, Danny Shout. It's called Two Lacquered Ladies, and it's all about nail polish and nail art, and then also whatever comes to mind. We also answer audience questions, and they can get pretty wild. Like this last one was, who's your favorite historical figure, and which nail polish would you give to them? Which like... Doomed, what a wild question, but we loved answering it. So please go check us out there. We're on YouTube, we're on Spotify, we're on Apple Podcasts. I literally just went through my RSS feed provider and was just like shared everywhere. So if you have a podcast listening platform, there's a very good chance that Two Lacquered Ladies is on it, even if I don't know it. Also, I stream every Sunday and Friday on Twitch. So please come and join us there. We're always having a fabulous time. And like I said, March 31st is Polish Pickup Bingo. It is absolutely the biggest night of the month. And you're you're gonna have a great time. I guarantee it. Anyway, um, have a great day. Be excellent to each other and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.